Welcome to Hari Systems. Today we know how to install CentOS Linux operating system in your desktop or server. The CentOS Linux distribution is a stable, predictable, manageable and reproducible platform derived from the sources of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The minimum requirements of the CentOS and Red Hat Linux operating systems to install the CPU type Pentium 4 or higher, the processor speed is 2 GHz or higher speed, the memory RAM requirement is 1 GB is the minimum, maximum is the up to the system level the supports whether it may be desktop may support 18 8 GB or 16 GB the servers may supports up to 250 GB or 500 GB of the memories hard disk is minimum 4 GB is the requirement of the installation and uh, the maximum installation of the hard disk space as required in the system and server let's go how to see step by step the installation, the download of the package of the CentOS from the community center operating system. There is an, a website called centos.org. Here you will see there is an, a button get CentOS now. Here three options will displace DVD ISO if you are in a facility to burn in a DVD ISO you can burn it download it and everything ISO it will everything means the operating systems of either CentOS or Red Hat Linux operating systems will have minimum installation the maximum installations with the GUI installations and uh, only for desktop or only for with the server and with the GUI supports there is a different different type of platforms and uh, flavors are available in the open source operating systems for everything means the all options which is uh, which they are released for the operating system everything is on it for while installation as we require we need to select the specified components if we don't want to select that specified components or installation applications we need to uncheck that simply for example if we are installing in a server which is a requirement of uh, FTP server or DHCP enable servers will only select for DHCP server if it is the requirement of the server for only using for hosting server will select for the web server options if the server is particularly we are using as a database backup or database management server will go with the tools like database or database server options we need to select and will go further installations here it I am choosing everything ISO the following mirrors you will have the region you should have the ISO images you select the appropriate ISO whether it may be 32 bit or 64 you can select it and click selection and it will start the download automatically once the ISO is downloaded completed you can make it as an bootable either preparing the either DVD or USB removable disk to prepare a bootable disk here I am installing CentOS and Linux operating system in virtual VM virtual box the same procedure here I am creating the mission here name it as CentOS RHEL 
64 as the name I am going to installing the CentOS Red Hat Linux Enterprise 64 bit operating system I am choosing the 16 of the RAM creating of the virtual hard drive now virtual disk image it's create dynamically allocation of the space of the hard drive I am choosing it is uh, 20 GB of hard disk space here it is creating now starting the image <coughs> give a path where the ISV is downloaded CentOS x64 everything the open start here I want to tell you something about the installation here I am installing using of the Voracil virtual box similarly if the server or your desktop you need to prepare a bootable DVD or bootable removable disk the USB stick while you are starting the system you need to select the first boot device as a bootable which you are choosing and uh, restart the system the same screen will be displays here the procedure will starts now the install CentOS 7 where if you are choosing an installation of RHEL it will displays install RHEL Red Hat Linux I'm clicking install it will verify the basic systems the system minimum requirements uh, which is the hardware is meeting up the level of uh, the installation of the operating system and uh, the services which are required to install the operating system it will verifies and uh, installation movements will starts now see here welcome to CentOS 7 the English language I am choosing English United States or you select English India based on your region click continue the localization here it is shows that installation summary the date time as you need to select the time zone here I am choosing Asia Cal Calcutta is my time zone the region selections here the city which is near to you and the date and the time it's done the keyboard I am choosing as English India with the rupee sign and the language is supports English is uh, very enough for me and the installation source it says that local media which I have given already the path the software selection here it is an important the main concept while installing the Linux or Ubuntu or Red Hat Linux or CentOS operating systems for all the families what we have discussed earlier while in downloading the ISO the minimum installation the add-ons will be displayed here right side panel the compute what are the minimum th these are the requirements if you want to install you need to select it if you don't want to sell need you run in check it Infra infrastructure server file and print server basics web server virtualization host server with GUI genome desktop 
development and creation of workstation see if I am selecting server with GUI I am installing here if you want only for installation of the genome desktop you can select this one only for desktop applications and desktops or laptops this is the sufficient to install if any office you, you require you select it system administration tools backup clients I am hearing installing server with GUI operating system and uh, here for example the samples of DNS name server is the high availability of server is identification is there Java platform is there I am choosing Java platform and many of the options are there scroll bar is there you can scroll it load balancer mainframes access and I am also choosing it's in a server I want to install along with the Maria DB database server this is the MySQL advanced database server and PostgreSQL database server also I am installing both database servers are installing at the same server the virtualization of the clients virtualization hypervisor and uh, development tools if any the server if you are trying to use that uh, development tools you can select uh, as a development tools over here and if my selection is sufficient click done installation source is verifying checking the software defend dependencies now come to the installation destination this is nothing but what I am choosing my hard drive the 20 GB of selection of the hard drive I have chosen and the similarly either server or windows desktop it will shows the partition entire the partition if it is a new installation you select it if you want to do such a partitions you can I will configure the partition choose select the I will configure the partition and go for a done or else it might be there is an uh, operating system itself it is uh, giving the facility to the facility it will gives you that automatically configure the partition I'm choosing automatically configure the partition installation destination is save storage configurations and network and host name there is an a one network card is connected to my system if I want to enable it will be enable or else you can configure later once the installation is completed you can configure the IP addresses separately and you can also assign local host name here if you don't know the local host name if you are installing as a local domain localhost.domain let it be the same click done and security policies I am applying the security policies standard security policy of the Red Hat Linux Now the KDump is enabled. Begin installations. See here the configuration file is appearing. 
it says that the user settings the root is nothing but an administrator super administrator of the open source and uh, Linux distribution operating systems and we need to set the root password it's mandatory for the all the operating systems and uh, we need to create an, a user creation if we require we need to create an users the installation of the package is showing here it started the process while I am creating there is an exclamatory mark it showing here that hello please complete items marked with the icon before continuing the next step I am creating it's in a root password it's done and creation of the user simply I'm giving admin <coughs> click done here you will observe that we are selected server with GUI installation and there is a some packages the MariaDB which is the advanced in MySQL server which is used for database the storage and the management and Similarly, PostgreSQL database server, which is also used to implement database servers, and some of the packages what we have installed for the server environment, it will, it may take some time for the installation of all the packages. While you observe it. the installation of the files approximately it shows that 1311 files the files which is already installed around 100 and plus Here, the performing post installation setup task. Once the installation of the all selected packages are installed, the completion of the installation, there need to be figured some specific tasks. are going on now it should sent OS is now successfully installed and ready for you to use go ahead and reboot now the system click reboot 
the system will reboot while rebooting the system you need to remove the installation media either if you are installing DVD or USB pen drive USB stick to installation which is started you need to remove and uh, click on the reboot it will boot the system from the hard disk the partition where you have installed the operating system here I am choosing that installation on virtual box hence it's displaying that otherwise it will come directly to the the displayed screen now it will gives you the three seconds for the boot menu option this is the welcome screen of CentOS Linux 7 operating system while starting the operating system it will uh, the minimum the requirements of it is the keyboard is attached or mouse it attached such a thing so input output IO devices if all are the minimum reached the minimum requirement specifications it will start the operating system if it is not reached it will displace that messages keyboard is unplugged and mouse is unplugged please plug in and start the system now it shows that installation the final step there is an uh, agreement with the license and usance CentOS Linux comes with the no guarantees or warranties of any shots either written or implied the similarly the operating system while I am explaining here there is a no warranty for all and no guarantee for your hardware we are not giving you such a things this is here what we are giving you to how to install the operating systems here I am explaining there is a no more warranty and no more support may give you the technical support through chart once it's done the license accepted click finish configuration now you screen you see the screen the welcome screen may appear for the installation of the CentOS operating system you have to decide the basic knowledge the minimum basic knowledge is sufficient to install the operating system and uh, take appropriate precautions while you starting the installations and such no more guarantees and warranties the failures of the hardware we didn't give you any assurance for it this is for only for education purpose I'm trying to log in he come back to I'm trying to log in here it's an, a root user it is not listed here it's showing that we are created two users one is root and admin here I am going to click not listed and uh, selecting the enter it's a new name of the root click next the password of the root what I have created while installation it's accepted if it is not accepting it may ask the whether either username or password of the credentials are wrong please enter the message it will be displaced and uh, maybe note that username password while creation of the page on installation which is a very important for further all the operations of the root and all the things this is the welcome screen of the operating system of sense the most appropriate options of the Red Hat Linux or Ubuntu and all the operating systems are this is the open source operating systems are similarly these flavors are the same things you can also follow the guidelines 
this is the GUI what we are seeing here the hierarchy of the operating system like desktop documents uh, downloads music pictures videos trash it's nothing recycle bin the welcome screen it says that the language is it comfortable click next English rupee symbol of the language it's showing that click next location privacy if you want to share you can share or else you can disable start using CentOS Linux getting started there is a no uh, getting started if you are new to the CentOS you can browse the topics to get more help from the web there is an uh, options called it as applications accessories favorites documentation internet office sound system tools there is icon terminal and settings if you want to change the IP address uh, it's very easy in here by using the GUI This is the settings here it's displaying. There is an option called a network which is already connected. If it is not connected you can click with the settings button and uh, add IP address automatically DHCP or if you have a manual IP you can select the manual IP net gateway here and click add subnet mask also DNS and if it is a DHCP you can select a dynamical automatic selection click apply here it's showing the icon of the network and sound icon and here there is a predefined places are also available here home documents hierarchy it will be displays if you want to go to the terminal simply you can click it as right click and open terminal if you want to work on to the terminal mode in the Linux similarly here there is an a command ls like dir listing of the files directories change directory downloads ls list of the files nothing is available here adds a new file and check if config to know the IP address which is assigned for your operating system this is the IP which is assigned and netmask is this broadcast IP ENP0S3 is the my network adapter here if you want to change you want you can change press exit to escape from the terminal by default the open source operating systems will give you the Mozilla Firefox web browser also you can check here
the pages came welcome to sentinel also the enterprise edition of the operating system welcome page thank you for watching this video this is the simplest way to install the operating systems open source operating systems if you'd like to know more updates similarly these videos and uh, you'd like to know how to configure the linux flavor operating systems application installations server installations and server configurations for more updates please subscribe press like and comment if you are any clarifications thank you for watching this video thank you